In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a finished plan in Revit. So I'm first going to start by coming to my project browser. I'm going to duplicate my main floor plan. I'm going to rename this to be my first floor finished plan. And then I'm first going to start out by getting this set up the way that I want it. So I have my light switches and my furniture in here, and I don't want to see these in this view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my visibility graphics. And then I'm going to come down. I'm going to uncheck my electrical fixtures and my furniture. Now, when I click OK, I'll see that those now disappear, but those are still in my project. If I come back to my first floor new plan, you'll see that those are still there. But I just want to see my floor finishes in this plan. So now that I have my view made, I'm going to come over here to my properties and I'm going to scroll down here until we come to the one that says color scheme. And I'm in rooms. If you're in spaces, you might just have to change this to be rooms. And then I'm just going to pick one of these. It doesn't matter which one, because I'm just going to duplicate it. I'm going to rename this to be floor finish. And then I'm going to change this title to also say floor finish. And then department. Um, I'm going to change this to be floor finish. I'm going to click OK. And now what this allows me to do is this sets up what's called a color scheme. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to click on all my rooms, and I'm going to get my room tags back by tagging all not tagged and clicking room tags. So that brings all my room tags back. And I'm just going to come in here, I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to assign a floor finish to all of these. So I'm going to call this one carpet one. And when I unclick, you'll see that this room is now turned red. And what that is, is that that's the color scheme going to work. What, what it's doing is it's taking the, the code that we're putting in here and then assigning a, a color to it. So I'm going to say that this is hardwood. And I'm just going to assign a few more here. Now you'll see I have some closets right here, but I don't want to create a room for those closets. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this wall right here. And if I come up here and uncheck the room bounding box, what that's going to do is that's going to make it so that that wall doesn't define the room. So if I uncheck that, you'll see that that color kind of spills over into those closets. And so this is helpful because my closet is pretty much going to have the same floor finish as my bedroom. So that's why I'm going to do that. So I'm going to come back to my color scheme and show you kind of what's going on. As you'll see, each time we create a value, it's going to add it to this list. And then Rev automatically assigns it a color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to overwrite this. Um, I'm going to change all these colors to be gray, and then I'm going to change the fill pattern to be something different. So for carpet one, I'm just going to do kind of just a sand pattern. For carpet two, I'm going to use one of these wood finishes, and hardwood, I'm going to use the horizontal line. And I'm going to click OK, and then what that does is that changes the the visibility of what's being shown in each of those rooms. So each of these hatch patterns is representative of the finish that's been assigned to these rooms from, uh, from the properties. And so I'm just going to keep doing this. So if I add another unique code here, so for the garage, I'm going to say sealed concrete, you'll see that Revit will just assign it another random color. And then I just have to come back up to my floor finish. I can change this to gray, 
and change this to concrete. I'm just going to do that for all of my finishes in all of my rooms. And if I've already had one assigned, so if I was going to do the same hardwood in this hallway, I can click this little drop down arrow right here, scroll down and find the code that I've already created. And I can just do that for all of my rooms.